how do I look? You look fine, dear. Very smart. Well, first day, got to set the standards. God, we're lucky. We've got so much, haven't we? <laughs> Not just each other, but the job, the house, the children. Who's the little one? That's Tom. No, no, I, I meant this chap here. Oh, I don't know. Must be the little boy from next door or something. Mm, no, I think I'll just pop out and tell him I'm off. Oh, do you have to, dear? They seem to be enjoying themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Good morning, good morning, good morning, lads. Now, allow me, by the benefit of my experience, to show you exactly how you can improve your game. I'll take this for the time being. You go, stand in the gully, just stand in the gully, just there, all right? Now, for a start, three fingers apart. Okay, come on, big lad, give me one. Send one down, nice and fierce, right? I'll show you. You see, that's the kind of... You've got to follow through, you see, and make sure you go nice and apart. Give me a <laughs> give me it back. I have not finished my demonstration. No. You can improve your game. Give me it back. No. Give me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Thank you very much indeed. I'm from next door. I'm afraid my little boy's got into your garden. Oh, do come in. Is he yours? Excuse me. Sorry. It's okay. I'll take it. Uh, well, there's a hole in the fence, you see, and I told him to wait until you'd settled in, but I just hope he's not being a nuisance. No, no, they were playing beautifully together. Oh. <laughs> I've had to confiscate this. I said he can have it back when he's prepared to apologise properly. <laughs> Pam, Pam Shields. Hello. Thoroughly unpleasant child. I think he got in through that hole in the fence. Remind me to nail something across it, will you? Could I have my son's birthday present back? <laughs> what? Oh, you hadn't oh. you better hurry, Gordon? You don't want to be late for work. No, of course not. I thought I might ask a few of the staff back here this evening. Fine. I don't suppose they'll all be able to make it, but say, 30? <laughs> sandwiches. Perfect. Wonderful, isn't she? Bye-bye, darling. Nice to have met you, Pam. I'll collect my son. Pam, I'm sorry about all that. I'm afraid my husband's... He doesn't mean to... Would you like a drink? I've just had a coffee, thank you. Oh, I was thinking of something a bit stronger than that. <laughs> you see, there's something I think I ought to explain about Gordon, and usually I find it a bit easier over a drink. Excuse me, if you could spare a moment. Yes, you. Good morning. I was wondering if you noticed when you lit your cigarette just then, what you did with the packet? Yes, I thought probably not. You threw it on the ground. Now, this possibly isn't the time to discuss smoking and the rights and wrongs and the damage it does to your health, but litter, litter's another matter. I'll be grateful if you pick it up and dispose of it in one of the many bins you have, in fact, erected yourself for that very purpose. All right? Ah, oh, is that for pointing? Because if it is, I think you'll find you've got too much sand in the mixture. <laughs> we don't want place crumbling away after a few years, do we, eh? Ah. <laughs> There's another one over here. Good morning! We haven't opened yet. Thirsty. We haven't thirsty. Yes, I'm aware of that. I'm Gordon Brittus, the new manager. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just the... And you are... Carol. Carol, yes. <laughs> well, if anyone wants me, I'll be in my office, Carol, all right? It's Mr Brittus. 
it may seem a small point, Carol, but I think the face we present to the public is rather important, don't you? Yes, sir. And when people come through those doors for a game of squash or whatever, you are the one that creates that vital first impression. Yes, now, there's a little rule of thumb I've always found useful. The first thing we do is smile. <laughs> the first thing we say is, how can I help you? How can I help you? It draws people in, Carol. You see, point taken? Yes, Mr. Bishop. Good. Here we are, Carol. These will make you feel better. Ah, oh, now what's wrong here? Well, she's just feeling a bit down, aren't you, Carol? Yes. No, no, think again. What? Coffee cup. Cups leave little stains. We don't want little stains spoiling our brand new centre, do we now? I'm sure she'll be careful. I've no doubt she will. That's not the point I was making, though. We have to have rules, don't we? Well, she needs to take a couple of aspirin. Let's make that the first new rule of the centre, shall we? No beverages outside the staff restroom, all right? She's not well, actually. I've no doubt about that at all. It's That's all not right. the point yeah, I was making. She's not all right at all. Well, if there's anything I can do... We could let her have a cup of coffee. I'm sure Carol doesn't want coffee stains in reception any more than the rest of us, do you, Carol? Uh, Have you any idea what she's been it's through? It's okay. It's okay. She shouldn't even be here. She had a baby three weeks so ago. She's suffering from postnatal depression. <laughs> her husband's left and gone to live in Spain with her best friend. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll tell you what, let's have a compromise, shall we? How about Carol pops outside and drinks it in the car park? <laughs> Is this the manager's office? That's right. You should be here any minute. You must be Colin. Laura Lansing, deputy manager dry. Colin Weatherby, deputy manager wet. <laughs> well, this is all very exciting, isn't it? Would you like some coffee and a biscuit, Colin? Not for me, thank you. I never take caffeine. And I find that the gluten in biscuits takes the edge off my fitness programme. I see. I always say that if you fill your body full of poisons, you can't really be surprised if it doesn't operate on its full potential. No. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Slight crisis down in reception. Gordon Britters. <laughs> you must be Laura. That's right. Good to have you on the team, oh. Laura. <laughs> and this is... I'm Colin. Deputy Wet. Colin? Yes. Colin. <laughs> so, you're the man with two PE degrees and a diploma in physical studies. That's right. Advanced homeopathy counsellor, trained yoga teacher, and author of a pamphlet on how to achieve peak fitness in three weeks. That's me. <laughs> yes, well. Welcome aboard, Colin. Let's get down to it, shall we? <laughs> now, if we're to open next Thursday, we've got a lot to do. I've already made out an agenda for this morning, which... What's this? Uh, this is a rough timetable I've made up for my department. Good, good. Can I ask what method you used? Pardon? For working out the roster. Dowhouse, Black and Wattis? Oh, uh, no, I just rang round and asked people what they wanted to do. <laughs> yes, well, with respect, I think you'll find this a little more scientific. I used Sternheim, so it should be comprehensively balanced, although I welcome any little suggestions you have to make. Right, Mr. Britters. <laughs> Gordon, please, we are, after all, just one big extended family. Isn't that so, Colin? Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Britters. <laughs> right, we have a staff meeting at 11 o'clock this morning. Most of them are already down in the restroom. Splendid. But first I thought we might... What's that smell? <laughs> oh, it could be my herbal poultice. Oh. I cut it on a tin of mung beans at the weekend. It's still suppurating away. <laughs> it doesn't seem to want to heal up. Yes, quite. Um, th first, I thought we might have a quick tour of the site, though, before we... Uh, if you could just wait outside, please. We're in the middle of a meeting. And if you could shut the door. That was Mrs Dapping. Councillor Dapping, head of the Borough Recreation Committee. Mrs Dapping! <laughs> Mrs Ritters, I don't want to interrupt anything. Of course not. But it's just that I've always taken a very keen interest in the progress of the centre, and I wondered if you... You're always welcome here, Mrs Dapping. In fact, you're just in time to join us on a little tour of the site to see how the building works coming along. 
That's what was worrying me. What? There isn't any building going on. <laughs> Apparently, one of your staff was very rude to a builder this morning. <laughs> They're holding a strike meeting in the car park. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, come on, Colin. No good crying about it. Let's go and sort this thing out, shall we? Mother, I found out this morning Derek hasn't been paying the mortgage. Well, yes, yes, I suppose I should have checked, but... I know you've got a bit of money put by, and I was wondering if you could let... Are you sure that was wise, Mr. Brittas? I will not have blaspheming, Colin. Not in these grounds, not while I'm in charge. <laughs> I can see we're going to have to postpone that staff meeting. I'll tell you what, I'll break the news to the staff while you explain things to the site manager. You mean, go back out there? <laughs> Am I all? Just tell him what happened and roughly what we expect of him, Colin. What do we expect of him, Mr. Brittas? <laughs> well, to start, you can tell him that once his men are prepared to moderate their language, they can have their shovels back. I don't need marriage guidance, Mother. I need 700 pounds. I'll just pop upstairs with these, Carol. I'll be right with you, OK? Thank you. Oh, dear. Oh, look at you. You're a petition. Yes, Mother. Oh, really? Forgotten already, have we? What? Remember? Coffee cups? I thought we sorted this one out half an hour ago. Oh, I don't believe it. We don't want cups of coffee in reception. Yeah, okay, okay, I heard. We don't want cups of coffee in reception. They are? <laughs> and none of those either. Does that help? Does that make you feel better? Certainly help me. Carol, could you see if you can find someone to clear this up, please? <laughs> please, I'll talk to you then. And don't forget the golden rule, Carol. How? Help me. And a smile, Carol. <laughs> Morning, all. Hello there. Everyone, bright eyed and bushy tails. Good. Now, we've had to postpone the staff meeting till 11.30. We've got a slight problem with the builders that need sorting out. However, I do have the staff roster for when we open next week. And perhaps while you're waiting, you'd all like to take a look at it. Uh, Mr. Brittis? Yes. Neil Pettit. I just wanted to say how very much I'm looking forward to working here. Excellent. That's what we like to hear, Neil. It's how everyone feels the same way. Oh, yeah, I think they do, Mr. Brittis. We, we can't wait to get... Hasn't there been some mistake? What? Where? Assisting the pool. It's got me down as assisting in the pool every day. What about table tennis? What about table tennis? Well, it's what I do. <laughs> it's what I was hired for. I've been put on the pool every day. Yes, but if that's what it says... But that's crazy! I reached the national semi-finals as an under-16. I've captained the county team for five years. We played the Toyota paint spray shop in Cold Bay last year. Neil, if you give me something in writing, I'll be happy to look at it for next season. I'm afraid for the moment, though, you're on the pool. I wonder if I could have a word, please. And you are... Tim. Tim. And I'm Linda. Yes. <laughs> well, Tim and Linda, what can we do for you? It's about my free periods. I've been to a great deal of trouble to be scrupulously fair to No, no, I'm sure you have. It's just that I'd like to be off on Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. And I was wondering, would it be all right if I swapped with Linda? I'm afraid not, no. I don't mind. <laughs> Linda, I went to a great deal of trouble to do that roster. What would happen if everyone wanted to change, eh? Well, I can't see it would make much difference in this case. Yes, well, with respect, that's possibly why I'm in charge of this centre, not you. <laughs> Who's doing it, then? Doing what? Table tennis. As a matter of fact, nobody's doing it, Neil. I decided we had better things to spend money on than teaching adolescents to tap a ball over a two-inch net. <laughs> you'll just have to accept it you're on the pool. But I can't swim. <laughs> well, you've got till Thursday to learn, haven't you? Can Gavin change, then? Gavin? Who's Gavin? Hello. <laughs> you see, the thing is, we spend a lot of time together. Well, we have the same hobbies, the same interests. We get on really well together. We... <laughs> would help us a great deal. I've explained the situation, Tim, and I've got a great deal of work to do. I can't stand around arguing about afternoons off. Is there a Damien Barker here, please? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Damien, can I have a quick word? Now, you're possibly wondering why you're not down for, for any pool duty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? I've got your medical record here. I think you understand. <laughs> well, what's there to understand? All right. You know and I know that it can't be transmitted by water. But the public get very uneasy about these things, and we have to remember... What things? What are you talking about? I'm talking about sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> sexually? I don't have a sexually transmitted disease. I've got your record here, and it quite... 
You're absolutely right, Damon. <laughs> very embarrassing. Uh, is there a Nigel Redcliffe here, please? <laughs> Mr. Wilson, I told you. But I've got a three-week-old baby. What am I supposed to do? Would you mean make some other arrangement? What would you want me to do? Oh, well, I've done that, Carol. Well, oh, Mrs. Delgado. Hang on, Mr. Wilson. Wouldn't it break your heart? I only done it half an hour ago, and look at it. Yes, I'm terribly sorry. Do you think you could do it? I suppose I'll have to. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll get some hot water. You just keep him talking, I'll get an ambulance. <laughs> Good grief. Oi, where do you think you're going? You haven't finished yet. I haven't started, I'm just going I'm to sick get... of excuses. I said I'll do it in a minute, but I can't... In a minute, it's not good enough. I want this cleared up and I want it done now. There's no need to shout. Well, what am I supposed to do to get things done round here? Lie down and cut an artery? <laughs> if people just got on with their jobs instead of all this moaning, moaning, moaning... I don't moaning. have to be spoken to like this. I didn't spill it. I've cleaned that floor once already this morning. Look, you have your job, I have mine. I run this centre, you make sure it's not knee-deep in coffee cups. Doesn't sound too difficult to me. Well, if you're such a bloody expert, you can clean it yourself. <laughs> but, Mr Wilson, I couldn't. It's... Carol? Yes, hang on, Mr Wilson. Just... Remember what we said earlier? How? Can I help you? Have a smile, Carol. Don't forget the smile. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, how can I help you? <laughs> no, I couldn't. <laughs> he is not quite what I expected. Mr. Brittus? Yes. No. Of course, I was away when the committee appointed him, but they all said he did a very reasonable interview. Really? And he had the most wonderful reference from Aldershot. I saw it. They said how sorry they'd be to lose him, but as he was so clearly heading for the top, they didn't feel that they could stand in his way. <laughs> Maybe once he's settled in, got to know us all. Yes. Yes. I'm sure you're right. Oh, my God, it's chaos out there. Laura, go down to first aid and help Colin. He's got a nasty gash on the head from a shovel. <laughs> What's happened? What hasn't happened? I've got builders who won't build, I've got cleaners who won't clean, and... Hello, is that the police? <laughs> yes, Gordon Bridges here, the manager of the Leisure Centre. I'm afraid one of my staff seems to have had a breakdown. Yes, I think an ambulance is an excellent idea. And, yes, possibly a qualified electrician. Well, at the moment, he's wired himself up to the emergency lighting circuit. Yes, thank you very much. Bye. You've been meeting some of the staff, have you? Yes, I think we've got a good team there. Once they settle down, of course. Mind you, one or two of them. Yes. Well... You don't have to be Alfred Einstein to see how some of them got the job. How do you mean? Well, take Colleen, for instance. I mean, far be it from me, but he's a classic case, I'm afraid. What are you saying, Mr Brittas? Someone realises they've got a bit of a chocolate teapot. <laughs> and you can't fire people these days just because they're no good. So what you do is you encourage them to look for promotion. That's why I had all those references. <laughs> So that's how it happens. <laughs> and nothing we can do about it, Mrs Dapping. Nothing at all? Not unless we're prepared to play the same dirty game. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> he's all right. He's wrapping the wound in babies. <laughs> Mr Brittus, I don't know if you want to work with a cleaning lady, only our husband is just taking her home. I've got rather a lot on my plate at the moment, Laura. I think we'll just have to manage without a cleaning lady for today. <laughs> no, no, no. She's going for good and her husband with her. He's the heating engineer and he's turned off all the boilers. <laughs> the building inspector says he can't give a building worthiness certificate until he's seen the heating in action, and he wants you to know that he can't come again for a fortnight. All I can say is, thank God I got here today. <laughs> Just imagine if all this had happened yesterday with no one to sort it out, eh? <laughs> oh. Thank you. 
Laura. Yes? Laura, if Britus ever suggests he'd like a job somewhere else, you will let me know, won't you? Yes. Yes, all right. I'd be very happy to write him a reference. <laughs> I think this is all we're going to get, Mr. Brutus. You think so? We've had quite a few resignations. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry about the delay. The latest news in our industrial dispute, by the way, is that I've put a few propositions in writing to the builders, and I expect their reply sometime this evening. <coughs> Welcome to Whitbury Newtown Leisure Centre. Now, I'm sure you're all as keen as I am to get the new team up and running. And I'd like first to invite you all back to my house this evening so we can get to know each other in a relaxed, <laughs> off-duty atmosphere. Eight o'clock, not before. <laughs> if you could let me know numbers after the meeting, all right? Now, as you can see, there are many, many things we need to talk about. But in view of today's events, I'd like to depart, if I may, from my agenda and share with you an idea, a dream. <laughs> we live in a divided world, a world where race is set against race, the young against the old, the rich against the poor, the north against the south, <laughs> and everyone against the Irish. <laughs> I believe we at this centre can change all of that. I believe we can do a lot more than just provide entertainment for local people. I believe that we, who hold the strings, can draw the community together, weld it in some... <laughs> it's a tiny tennis bat, Mr. Brindas. It could have killed someone. It's been specially sharpened. Where did it... <laughs> Look, up there. It's Neil. How do you fancy a game of ping-pong now, Mr. Brindas? Has he used all his bats, Colin? He's got dozens of them, Mr. Brittas. He's very keen on table tennis. <laughs> yes. Look, Neil, if you've got something to say, I think you should come down here out in the open and say it. It's too late for talking, Brittas. Let's play. <laughs> Which one of you is Britas? <laughs> oh, gentlemen, how can I help you? As I said, welcome to Whitbreed Newtown Leisure Centre. And has he always been like that? I suppose he has, really. It didn't seem to matter so much when he was younger, but once he got promoted... I remember one time in Runcorn, I watched him walk through this yoga relaxation class. Not stop or anything, just walk on through. But by the time he'd given a few words of encouragement here and there, four of the women were having a fist fight and the teacher had set fire to the hall with his meditation candle. <laughs> doesn't it bother him? I mean, doesn't he mind? Actually, no. You see, it's funny, but Gordon has this idea that he's the oil that keeps the engine running smoothly, so he pours himself liberally into the gearbox. But, of course, he's not the oil, never has been. He's a bag of grit. <laughs> Look, I came round to bring you these from the garden. Oh, how lovely. Thanks. And I wondered if you wanted any help with the party. Oh, good Lord, I nearly forgotten. Thanks for reminding me, Pam. Want a hand? Oh, thanks. When did you do all this? Um, June 1985. <laughs> Just take them out when I need them. Well, but isn't it rather dangerous to keep thawing and refreezing things? Only if you eat them. <laughs> I'm home, darling. Sorry I'm late, darling. Rather a busy day. Mm. Hello, Pat. Good evening, Mr. Brutus. Nice to see you again. Can I get you a drink or do you have to go? I'm just leaving. Good, good. I'm sorry, darling. What? The party. I decided not to ask anyone back tonight. First day, rather a lot happening already. Oh, never mind. I know. Why don't you put in the deep freeze? <laughs> could you? I couldn't bear to see all your good work go to waste. 
I think I'll just pop up and say goodnight to the children, all right? Oh, those tomatoes look a bit manky, darling. I wouldn't shop there again if I were you. Get the cash to recommend a decent green grocer, eh? Ah. It's always like that, is it? Yes. Yes, it is. It's extraordinary, isn't it? He's... Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to be rude. Oh, don't you worry. I don't. <laughs> I'll take these, shall I? Certainly not. We'll have them for breakfast tomorrow and he'll tell me how lucky he is to have such a clever little woman in the kitchen. <laughs> Who knows how important compliments are in a relationship? Learned it on a course. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. I've told Jonathan he can have it back when he's prepared to behave in an adult responsible manner. <laughs> right, well, how did it go today? Mm, one or two teething troubles, but that's only to be expected. Good. I think we've got a good team there, once we get to know each other, of course. That's nice. It's what I've always dreamed of, Helen. At last, I've got the buildings, the resources, the authority. We live in a divided world. What's up now, Gordon? Uh, no, I think I'll fix the car first. What's wrong with the car? Colin very kindly towed me home. Shouldn't take too long. What's wrong with the car, Gordon? Just a practical joke, the sort of thing the new boy has to expect, I'm afraid. First day, high spirits. What did they do? They a couple of shovelfuls. A couple of shovelfuls of what? <laughs>